we here? Lizzie's bar, huh? All right. Let's see what Looking Lizzie's up to. Put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? What is a a, a brain dance? Sure. Sure. And I go. Okay. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. A BD, huh? What a sweet little face you have. This is kind of crazy. Give my dad's bunk. Sure. I would love to. Okay. We're just gonna head in here and see what we've got going on. Trying to get a BD for my PP. Hey. What's up, Mateo? Get you something. Look at a little bit. Uh, hmm. What's on the menu? Sketchy. I guess we should tell him we're looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Ooh, do we want to pay him? Name's V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Just waiting for this one. Is this her? Nice to meet you. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Some tequila. Sense on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. <laughs> Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got something for me. Mm. But not here. Come with me. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. This is very hush hush. A little bit sketchy. In the lounge we go. Oh, okay. Uh, probably can't look at that. I'm gonna sit over here and just, you know, keep my eyes on the corner. Does it count if it's virtual? YouTube, please don't demonetize me. Just gonna focus on Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Hmm. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot, you got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere, not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well put. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. 
Hmm. I'll get to cores to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? <laughs> Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them really? a long time ago. Huh. Makes it Why easy for us. Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. <laughs> Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Hmm. Wait, Mutual Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... For we us to find. Soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling oh, virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? <laughs> no. Would you like no, it? can be a very no, useful tool. Think. Good for yeah. analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. Ah, You'll need to locate the perfect. relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Genius. Mm -hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both. I arrangement. Think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, uh -oh. years. So we're gonna have the layout of his apartment, important. or his condo. Judy's always Don't been there for cry. me. You got this, always helped out. Mm -hmm, sure. I trust her. Based but off the mox, brain dance. Not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, uh -huh. you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. So yeah, trust her, but don't trust believe her. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Hmm. <laughs> What's up, girl? Hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V? This is Judy, best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances. 
Mm -hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. <laughs> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's Super most important. Deep. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? No, I haven't. Look, I'm no beady virgin, but the raw stuff? <laughs> Uncharted territory. Relax. I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. All right. Here we go. So we're going to be living through other people's memories here? Is the vibe I'm getting? But we're going to be able to actively be in them, even though they were in the past and we're in the present. Got to create your and it's not even our memory. First. Okay. Do your thing. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Okay. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn to me. Crank up the orgasms? <laughs> More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So. What about like a real connection with somebody? One more sec. Get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Okay. And all of a sudden our consciousness has been transported to somebody else's brain, I guess. This is interesting technology. Of course it's plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay. Okay, on you go. Of course this is being, this technology is being pushed forward by the hub industry. Down. Everybody! Prawn. On the ground! Prawn Let industry. Let the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! So they were trying to create, like, a, a robbery BD that they could sell to people to have the... the experience of robbing a store without actually doing it? Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. 
Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Going back into the void again? Dude, this is... This is insane. And the fact that a lot of this stuff is probably going to be a legitimate tech at some point in the near future is even crazier. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Whoa. Full cam control in analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the okay. editor console to unpause. Try it. So we can play Fine, and pause? Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Okay. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. So we can rewind. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Or we can fast forward. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. All right. Now Restart. Fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Okay, so how do we... I guess we probably... Do we have to, to play it a little bit? Do nothing off. Don't get crazy. Just wait for it. to those psycho freaks from the studio. Everything on full blast. He gives him the gun after talking, right? Okay. There it is. Okay. Bold sections of the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap, the recording track will be especially bright. After being successfully scanned, clues disappear from the track. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. This is the crazy. The sources of the recorded sensory signals switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. So we can uh, switch between brain dance layers by pressing R1. Do we have to be outside okay, of it? Good. Yeah. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. We're out of signal range, so I think we do we need him? Wait, we've got this. Okay, fuck! On you ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. So if we play it forward a little bit, we're going to be able to get here, see what this is about. So it was being said right here. Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay. okay? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. surf and Everybody! On the ground! Shoot, what I see you kissing the flooring! My death rope! Sometimes so now we can, can switch back to this. In the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Okay. Hello, nice. Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Okay. I swear to God! Whoa! So we're gonna keep going forward. We're gonna be able to see when he gets shot. They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part. There's somebody in the back of the store. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. 
Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. So we're going to be able to do that. Analyze this, so we're going to be able to see... Oh, dude, what? His own Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like His this. friend did it? BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. His friend set him up and then killed him. Wow. Not a world I would want to live in. That is insanity. Friend sent him up and then killed him because that's worth more in the black market to have a, a brain dance where somebody dies in it because people like to feel like they died. Whew. This is some nasty stuff. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. <laughs> anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Hmm. Evelyn, I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, he wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only purge in this footage? Observe, not fuck with anything. Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out. Just like we planned. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compeki? Oh, I thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? I'm millisec. Okay. Connection confirmed. Now some quick temp ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. So now she's in our head as we go into somebody else's head of somebody else's memory. We're getting super meta here. This is just scary. All right, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurino who's keeping the relic. <laughs> So we need to use all of these tools. What you the look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go out into editing mode. We're going to swap over to this, and we're going to skin this conversation. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, got to be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Okay, let's listen to this, though. Can we listen to him here? Hmm, we can also scan this guy. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visualist old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever 
in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must Not provide it. them. In Heard that? Relic docks got to be around here somewhere. Look for them. Specific storage conditions. You must Not provide it. them. Enough. Sorry to make you wait. Business. So this is our guy. Can't be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense. Edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me? Only one. Focus. On me. Oh, got any candy oh. left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. So his data pad, we need to get in his data pad to get the, the instructions or whatever. Nice. But come here already. Just a sec, looking for the perfect thing. Ah, oh, you'll like this. But love is... is he on his data pad right now? Until he is. Okay, uh, back it up a little bit. Let's stop there. Now we're gonna be able to swap out. We're gonna be able to take a look at his data pad and scan that, be able to get inside that bad boy. Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. One sec, we've also got a weapon here. I wanna check this. Let's just get all the clues no, we can. Man. Safety's on. Good to know though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Okay, so there's there's a weapon loaded safety on on the thing. So now we're going to be able to switch to our temp layer and we're going to look for anything that's super cool. But we're getting a little bit too far away. We may need to, to back up. Anything that's cool. Hmm. All of these are heat signals. Oh! This is cool. Oh, it's in his face. It's in this thing. Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. This is crazy, man. So we're gonna go in here. I just... Oh, let's... fuck. It's like I'm really... B, eye on the prize. Focus. Waruikome. I miss this. You. I know. And that's the end of the recording. I'm glad it ended there. So we need to get... Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, we need to find out... Do we see anything else that's cool? Is there anything up in the ceiling? Is there anything... Can't go through rooms? Hmm. I know we we did spend a little bit of time. We poured ourselves a drink over here, so I'm gonna back up to that when we first got here. Hmm. Oh, right there. That's gotta be it. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on, hold on. What is this over here? Hidden safe underneath the floor. We need her to get a little bit closer. This guy. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Hidden safe in the corner. Okay. Your Nobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Now, it does say that we can uh, scan the apartment security systems. So I think we're going to want to do that. Let's swap back over to vision. 
Where would his security systems be? I would imagine somewhere over here, yeah. Motion sensor camera. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. How do we get that? Also, what is this? Can we... We probably want to scan him. Military-grade cyberware. We're just gonna get closer. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Okay. Now we gotta look for... There might be other ones too. Want to try to get all of it just so it helps us out later. Then you shall perish for Bigon. Okay. So a minute to finish. The program is in Trifid County. What is this? I'll certainly explain the risks. Visual is all gray beard. But it's nothing to change. If you get a problem. Looking around here, just try to look at a little bit of everything. I'm wondering if when we mess with the music and look at his emails, if we're going to be able to scan that. This is so cool, dude. We obviously just kind of have to take our time. Oop, there's another one right there. Scan that. We'll scan this here as well. Automated turret. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. System is all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Okay. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. So the flathead's gonna be our key to be able to do that, and we're all we're all good to go. Oops. Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Okay. Let's uh I don't I was trying to exit this thing. I don't know how to exit. Oh. Got it. Beautiful work. Well thought out plan. We detailed all of their security systems. We know exactly where we need to go when we get in the apartment and uh, somewhat know what to expect when we do this. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Appreciate you, girl. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. <laughs> Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax. I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door... Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. All right. Well, I appreciate your help. And uh, hopefully I see you again, maybe? Ish? Let's you walk. probably don't want to see me, do you? Well, what do you think? I mean, that was pretty impressive. Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Kompeki. Winds are right. Plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. <laughs> Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really... Just covering my bases. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. All right. I trust so, you. What now? Even though I just met v, you. Do this job for me. 
I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. I don't know if I can do mm -hmm. that. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. So she's asking us to decide whether or not we're going to turn our back on, on our employer here. The guy that we just met, the guy that we've heard from around town that he's pretty serious and he's not somebody to mess with. Otherwise, she doesn't want to do this deal with us? I don't know. This is kind of tough. Uh-oh, Jackie's hitting us up. Hola, V, how's it going? What's the status? Met with the client, played me a BD, the place we're supposed to visit. BD, huh? Hi. Just keep me posted. Will do, brother. Actually, I think we're gonna go meet up with him right now. I believe we are in route. Gotta take a right here. We are in route to the afterlife, which is where he wanted to meet up to just kind of like, you know, debrief and talk about our next plans. So let's head to the afterlife, baby. Never thought that'd be a place I voluntarily wanted to go, but I think it's I'm pretty sure it's a bar. See how it works out. Kind of a cool name for a bar, not gonna lie. Porque ya tengo planes para esta noche. Virgen Santísima Ma. Te vas a enterar. Stuck it to his mouth. Yo también te quiero, Ma. Good son. Yeah, about time, Holmes. How's she doing? What's new with Senora Wells? Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help yourself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. We're but, in it now, bud. That's done after tomorrow. After life, here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! We have arrived. The Major Leagues. Does not get any higher, Jum. And you know something else? You fucking earned it, Mano. All right. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on. I mean, I could have done that at the last place with some BDs. Place used to be a morgue. You believe that? Really, Jackie? What? I told you that myself. <laughs> Oh, for reals? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, that must have been ages ago. So this is where all the street kids hang out. And who are you clowns? Name's V. This is Jackie Wells. Oh. Is that supposed to sound familiar? It will soon. We're here to see Dex. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Dude, I just, I don't think we're gonna be able to turn our back on Dex. I, I don't know, man. I feel like there's so many decisions to make and I never know what the right one is. That's it right there. Beating. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa. Maybe even Morgan Blackhand. All sat on those stools. Fellas, looks like we're up. It's time to drink, my guy. Hey, you see that old lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> the place belongs to her. What can I get you? You order. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. Wow. Duo of Johnny Silverhands coming up. 
Right on, Chica. A Johnny Silverhand, eh? Homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. How long's the afterlife been around? Half a century? Longer. Don't know by how much, though. That'd be the oldest club in Night City. And the most respected. Don't forget that, Ben. Say I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. <laughs> Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. Mid up would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. Tonight city. And the afterlife. <laughs> Bottoms up. Guess dying's a small price to pay for going down in history. I live like a legend first, though, huh? Death. It's nothing but the final flourish. <laughs> oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You want to write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Dex a regular? You, now. you come here a lot? Hey. A sort of long hiatus, matter of fact. Didn't show his face for nearly two years. The Tomcat's gotta walk his own path, right? Yeah, well, wherever he walked, he knocked a few pounds off. <laughs> Guess they weren't delivering that pizza I mentioned before. All right. Break a leg. We gotta Thanks. get out of here. Lead us away, my man. This way. This guy's name is, is Hustle, like muscle, but with an H. Damn, Holmes. You're huge. Work out? Mm. Same here. No, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Mm. Think you could take me? Drop me? Man, a few Same words. Here. <laughs> pinche tipo. I love him, man. <laughs> Hustle! Alright. Well. So Dex has this, uh... Secret meeting room back here. That's right. Excelsior. Cold hard eddies, as per usual. Hmm. Gotta bounce. Well, if it ain't Mr. V. Whole family in, in one the flesh. place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead. Well, let's see this bad boy. Okay. Put the flathead in the briefcase. We got it. All right, then. Set your butts down comfy. Okay. Take a seat. Whew. Sweet booth. What are we gonna it's do? It's soundproof? Jackie. Now, now. Mr. Wells is right. We're gonna be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Mr. V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Pretty well saw Compeki Plaza from the inside. Oof. Oof. We gotta... Let's uh, see this out. As I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza inside from that raw BD she scrolled. Mm-hmm. Bug already filled me in. So you know the target. Yorinobu Arisaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend? So <laughs> she just want to see what's good, or was there something else? So this is our last chance to, to come up honest. Who do we trust here? Hello? I'm gonna... So obviously everyone in Night City is out for themselves. Everybody's, you know... Working for themselves has their own self-interest. That, that's their number one, you know, goal. We don't really know either one of them that well yet. I mean, obviously, he's he's the one that originally hired us. So I'm tempted to trust Dex. She seemed pretty solid, too, but she's, like... She's also a little bit sketchy, you know what I mean? Like, she, she runs the, you know, strip club... Her job is deceiving people and manipulating people and stuff, which could potentially be, you know, 
really worthwhile on our side. I, I, I didn't dislike her. But I feel like she's trying to be conniving and manipulative by coming to me and trying to go underneath the table. I, I think we trust Dex. I think. There was something else. Parker made me another offer. Another offer? Mm-hmm. Kind where we ditched the middleman and split the pot in even 50-50. What? <clears throat> ditched the middleman? <laughs> Shit, now that's rich. <laughs> Clients never learn, do they? I do appreciate you sharing this info, though, Mr. B. You see, trust is essential in any partnership that's to be long lasting and fruitful. Appreciation don't convert to eddies. And Evelyn offered us a bunch. He's telling it like it is, Dex. Y'all need not worry. Truly. We'll come to that. Okay. How about we go over the plan? What I don't you know got if that was right Dex? Call. This. Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deep. Ops wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kanpeki Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. It goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Perfect. Time for your burning questions. I mean... Let's go to the list. Me. Bremis Cab Company in all night city. Not a mile. Deshaun don't ever work with anyone but the best. I consider Delamain just that. Okay. Yeah, who needs creepy, nosy cab drivers when you've got a clean AI to get you from point A to B in style? And how he bags a permit to operate every year is still a mystery. If everything goes as planned, Delamain will drop you back here. If things get sticky, you head for the safe house. Which is? The no-tell motel. Quiet, no questions asked. Make our next move from there. But I'm flat certain that won't be necessary. I hope not. Anything else? Long as we do our job right. These new identities, tell us more. What's our cover? Hello, Ramon Victorino. Ramon. And you're Harry Conwell. Harry. Ramon? Yeah. Okay. What do we say we're there for? Biz as usual. Corpo arms deal. In case anyone asks, you there for a bogus meeting with our Osaka's defense rep, Hajime Taki. Anything else? How do we get in? How do we get in the penthouse? Your Nobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be penthouse security. If we want to disable, we'll need to neutralize Kompeki's dweller, Elite Runner monitoring the hotel subnet 24-7. Only catch is there's no way to get in the dweller's den from the outside. Oh, hold on. How you want us to get inside a room you can't get into? Trust me when I say whatever hits you think of, T-Bug solved it already. This is where the flathead comes in. You'll have to get him in the ventilation shaft, guide him to the dweller, and force the dweller to take a break. Flathead will stay there, jacked into the dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Perfect. Anything else? Shuts everything down, gets us in. Okay. Let's do it. You're brought up to speed. Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Now's a good time as any. Fresh talent gets 30% always. But I'm willing to make an exception in your case. I'm gonna cut you a nice juicy 40 as a bonus for your honesty, Pete. That's more like it, Dex. Cut ching, baby. <laughs> so we could have got 50%, Last but we were honest and we got 40. Got a strict no iron policy, security gates, the works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride, take the flathead inside in its case. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part too. Chido. Thanks, T. So, not to count chickens, but 
Why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role. But a week, two tops is my guess. And what do we do while waiting? Sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, cause old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet. So don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Got a prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues, now's your chance. You and Dex know each other a while. Gotta fill Dex out. Um, why? Uh, you know, peeps say all kinds of things. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Marcus Aurelius, I think. <laughs> you and Dex both philosophize in it. <laughs> no wonder you get along. I mean, I'm I... Good. No question. I don't know. We're in it now. Let's get to work. We're gonna disappoint somebody there, no matter what. Let's go. Let's roll. No point in waiting. In getting rich, you mean? 